Hello, Woody. This is Walter Lance. Oh, hello, boss. What's up? Woody, I was hoping you would come over to my office and run the movie projector for me. Sorry, boss. I'm in the middle of a good book. Get Andy Panda to help you. Well, uh, okay. But I have a group of your fans here, and they'll be disappointed. My fans? <laughs> Woody, are you still there? Here I am. Woody! Boss, I never let my fans down. Now what's this film about? It's all about you and me, Woody. Well, what are we waiting for? Fasten your seatbelt, and away we go! <laughs> Hey, boss, who's that little boy? It's me, Woody. It can't be you. He's got hair. That's how I looked in 1904, when I was four years old. Is that when you created me? No, Woody. I started in the animation field at age 16. I got my first job in the New York cartoon studio owned by William Randolph Hearst, the famous publisher. I began as a cameraman and learned to become an animator. And that's when you created me, right, boss? Wrong, Woody. The silent cartoons that we made back then had characters that were famous in the Hearst newspaper comic strips. This cartoon featured the Cats and Jammer Kids. Then in 1922, at the John R. Bray Studios, I created a character called Dinky Doodle, and I developed a technique to combine live action with animation. This is a scene from one of those early cartoons. Who's that leading man? That's me again, Woody. Oh, it can't be. He's got hair, too. But it is. Back then, I wrote, directed, and acted. In 1927, I came to Hollywood in my locomobile. It's a miracle you made it. I met Mr. Carl Lemley, the president of Universal Pictures, and he asked me to produce cartoons for the movies. And I was a star, right? No, the star was Oswald, the lucky rabbit. Oh, brother. In this cartoon, the ghost of the Great Depression haunts the world. And Oswald is inspired by President Franklin D. Roosevelt to spread confidence throughout the country. That's the title of the cartoon, Woody. Confidence. Mr. President, what will cure a depression? Confidence! And lick this old depression! Confidence! And wear the right expression! Smile! Grin! Laugh right out loud! And watch the golden sunshine scatter every cloud! Confidence! Hey, hey! It's our salvation! Confidence! The hope of our great nation! Teach it! Preach it! Count it! Shout it! Confidence! Just have confidence. Oswald's success gave Universal great confidence in me. So, in 1929, they asked me to do an animated opening for their old Technicolor feature called The King of Jazz. It starred Paul Whiteman and his orchestra. And for this, I created the very first Technicolor animated cartoon. Daniel, my Lord, deliver Daniel. My Lord, deliver Daniel. Why can't he deliver me? Ooh. 
And the voice of the lion was one of those young singers in the Paul Whiteman Orchestra. His name was Bing Crosby. Mammy! Well, what do you know? Then, Woody, Universal asked me to create another new star. And that's when I came in, right? Wrong again, Woody. In 1939, I created Andy Panda. He was born in this first cartoon. Have a baby boy! The pandas have a baby boy! So what? What then? A baby panda? My, my! Baby panda in the world. Oh, darling, <laughs> What's his name? They ain't named him yet. He ain't got no name. Let's name him Elmer. Donald. Jack. Jim. Jim. Joe. Bill. Butch. Quiet. 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 I'm going to call him Andy. Andy Panda. At first. We got a lot of laughs out of Papa Panda. <laughs> then, as Andy grew up, we put clothes on him, and he became a full-fledged comedy star. The next year, Universal and I decided that we needed another new star. Me. A big star. Me. Someone kooky or crazy and colorful. Me, me, me. So we went back to the drawing boards, and in 1940, we introduced our biggest star. Guess who? <laughs> We put Woody Woodpecker in a cartoon with Andy Panda because we weren't sure he could act. You're not going to pull that old gag on me, are you, son? Do you know what I did to the last guy that tried that? Why, I tore him limb from limb! <sighs> Can you imagine? They thought I couldn't act. And to our surprise, audiences laughed so hard that we decided to give Woody his own cartoon series. But of course. Everybody thinks I'm crazy. Yes, sir, me, that's me, that's me. That's what I'm cracked up to be. I chop a hole in every tree. Knock on wood. Well, knock on the wood. So I'm crazy. So what, what can I do? Why you? Here I am in an early picture. Yeah, was I gruesome. In that first series, Woody, there was just one thing you were after. Food! Sometimes I was staring hunger right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes Woody Woodpecker did crazy things just for the heck of it. <laughs> Rose of all, back to Papa Junior. Here it comes, Papa. Woody, if you were going to be a leading man, you had to look like one. So during the 1950s, I gave you a new look. Right. You gave me a new suit and a new hairdo. Oh, ain't I cute? We also wrote a theme song for you, the Woody Woodpecker song. It became a big hit and was nominated for an Academy Award. Finally, we added a finishing touch. What was that, boss? I decided that you needed a new voice. When Walter was listening to audition tapes for Woody's new voice, I slipped my own tape in with the others. 
And then when my tape was played back, Walter said, that's it. That's the voice for Woody. I can't tell you what he said when he realized that he had selected the voice of Gracie, his wife. I can't tell you either. <laughs> but I gave the job to Gracie after all. Her years of performing in theater, films and radio made her the best choice. You mean to tell me that my voice is done by a girl? How embarrassing. Gracie, how do you do it? <laughs> Today, Woody Woodpecker is a big star around the world in movies, television, and comic books. Hockey Hot Spit? Who's that? That's you. That's what you're called in Sweden. In Mexico, you're El Pajaro Loco. In France, you're Pico. In Italy, you're called Picciarello. Your name and face appear on almost everything imaginable. Oh, well, that's the price of being a star. But, boy, I couldn't have made movies without my supporting cast. Andy Panda. Wally Walrus. Gabby Gator. Buzz Buzzard. Chilly Willy. My nephew, Nothead, and my niece, Splinter. But let's also salute my producer, Walter Lance. In 1979, the Motion Picture Academy of Arts and Sciences awarded you a special Oscar for Lifetime Achievement. How about that, boss? Aren't you glad you made me a star? Yes, I am, Woody. The Woody Woodpecker song. <laughs> yeah, he's a pecking it all day long. He pecks a few holes in a tree.